what's up everyone welcome to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about or i'm going to show you how i edit my reels tiktoks or youtube shots from a zoom recording so that i can basically use that or use clips from my zoom recording to paste or to post on youtube instagram tiktok basically getting it into that format right you want to make sure it's that long vertical phone size format so that people can watch it and it's comfortable for people to watch so yeah uh, let's get into it um i'm presenting my screen over here so i can show you and uh, yeah you can also see my face because why not <laughs> um all right so first things first i these are the two tools i'm going to be using final cut pro and canva uh, now this might not be the most conventional way to do it but this is the best way I figured out how to do it and I'm sure there are better ways of making sure you can do it all in one software. So, but again, whatever makes your process works, it works, right? Whatever is quicker. So let's get into Final Cut Pro. So now I'm editing a podcast. Uh, I do a podcast with my friends known as the Amar Akbar Anthony podcast. Definitely check it out. I'll put the link below in this video anyways. You guys can uh, feel free to listen to our podcast. It's pretty awesome, very interesting. Um, and I love it uh, it's two of my closest friends but let's get to business all right so this is a, po a video which I imported from so you know what let's start a new project actually so I'm gonna go to new I'm gonna go to new event right and when I'm creating my project actually over here right the only thing I'm changing is this video format so you go you have video you click this and you click custom and uh, you want to switch these up so you want to basically be like 1080 by 1920 all right and we can call this test project alrighty so you basically get that video in this format now I'm not gonna import it again because I already did that so let's work on this one so the in this project you can see that once you start editing it it basically reaches in this format right so we have all this stuff right now but obviously like it's still not user it's not like eye friendly or whatever you call it because you see how it's like so small and it's like you know like my friend's face is here and you know my other friend face is over here and I'm over here you want to make sure it's like stacked up right you want to make sure everything is like one two three so it's easy for people to view and it's more enjoyable to view as well so what I'm gonna do is uh, so basically what I did with this video is I chopped them up so wherever I felt like was real appropriate I basically made like about like three or four like actually six reels out from this video right or six shots or tiktoks i'm just gonna, gonna call them reels because i don't know reels is nicer to say but let's go with this one so it's like i have this like reel over here but so Sam was like i, I want to stack them up now so i save it i do all that stuff i'm gonna export it save it as a dot mp4 file or whatever and now I'm going to come to Canva because I'm not going to be doing any other things over here right now. Right. So let's go to Canva. I don't know why I clicked my calendar. Also, guys, sorry to say, but uh, if you are hearing any background noise, it's my AC and it's a really hot day. So um, let's go over here. So Canva is really interesting. It has amazing stuff to like, you know, work with. When it comes to YouTube thumbnails, uh, posts, videos, I think it's a great tool to use, especially if you're someone who's, uh, you know, who, who do not want to use softwares like Adobe, you know, Photoshop and stuff like that. This just makes everything easier. Uh, and I prefer using this. Uh, so we're going to go to Instagram Reel. All right. So we have, we're going to create a design. And uh, right now, we already have it we have this canvas over here which is a real friendly canvas and i'm gonna go to my uploaded videos already 
so you can see over here i already have a couple of videos that i've edited before now these videos are directly from final cut pro and it's raw format uh so just for the purpose of the video i'm going to take this video right so i click this aside, like and i also now what i want to do is what i do i click because it's three of us and i want to stack them up i basically click it twice aside, like she's really cute her all right and now i have three copies of this right all in the same timeline i'm by the timeline i mean the specific thing over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to crop each one of this right so i'm going to crop save this guy is safe you can follow him twitch guys he's a twitch streamer as well and he's pretty awesome uh, and i'm gonna crop this guy over here i'm gonna come and I'll, next i'm gonna crop myself over here boom and now i'm gonna crop out sharon who's another friend of mine all right now i have now i'm just gonna resize them so just to make it look nice so here here and here Now you can adjust the size accordingly, uh, like you know, sometimes I try to keep some spacing on top over here so I can put like, uh, you know, Spotify and Apple Podcasts, the logos, just so that people know that we are on these platforms, um, because I was doing this specifically for a podcast, and uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna design this. I'm gonna just put some background over here, make it black. Oh. oh, what am I doing? Yeah, let's. What am I doing? Okay, black. All right. So I have these three stacked up now, right? It's all in the same time. And when I play this, all both decide like she's really cute herself. Okay, so there's like. You can hear the echo of it because all three of them are playing, but I promise you, once you export the video, it does not sound like this. It's much more cleaner. So all both aside, like she's see, really cute herself. herself. Okay, so there's like so you we see gotta how cut that all out of them she's really cute. are playing in the same time, but they're three separate videos. It's because it's in the same timeline. Uh, and now you can play around with this. You can add Seth over here, me over here. You can stack them out the way you want it. It doesn't matter. And if you guys want, you can also like cut these videos to, you know, have those zoom effects on specific faces, which also make the video, I don't know, do, you, you can do it however you want, honestly. Then, then there are some elements you can add. <laughs> you can add a heart over here. Uh, you can add like whatever you guys want. I mean, Canva is a pretty cool tool. You can basically design everything the way you want. The purpose of this video is showing how you guys can get a zoom recording and convert it into a reel and i think uh, once you finish your work over here you click share you download the video and you should be all set to go and post all right so i hope you guys found this video useful uh, and if you did just like i don't know let me know in the comments and if you guys want any tutorials concerning reels or just video editing in general let me know i'm also learning right now it's it's a huge learning curve so definitely uh, i would appreciate your some feedback and yeah uh, i hope all of you have an amazing day ahead and i shall see you all soon in the next video